Hey guys, uh, we're gonna talk about the bombing in Manchester and we're gonna make sure that you stay up to date on everything that we know right now. We're shooting this on a Tuesday around 9.30 a.m. So LA time, just keep that in mind. You probably heard this happened at an Ariana Grande concert at Manchester. Um, 22 are dead. 59 are injured. Um, the chief constable Ian Hopkins says, quote, the attacker I can confirm died at the arena. We believe the attacker was carrying an improvised explosive device, which he detonated causing this atrocity. This uh, is being called a terror incident and it was it is the deadliest terror attack on British soil since the 2005 London bombings, uh, which killed 52 people. Ariana Grande has tweeted her condolences. She says, quote, broken from the bottom of my heart. I am so, so sorry. I don't." have words and she has suspended her world tour. The UK Prime Minister Theresa May has said the incident is an appalling terrorist attack. Um, there has been an arrest made and as of when we are taping this, they have named the attack suspect. Um, I'm not sure where I lie on saying his name. I don't wanna give this guy any more credit, but you should just know that the police work is being swift and that they are really getting to the bottom of this. The prime minister has commended the police work so far. Um, we're not sure exactly uh, what the arrest is in relation to with regards to the attack, but the um, Greater Manchester Police did tweet out, they say, with regards to last night's incident at the Manchester Arena, we can confirm we have arrested a 23 year old man in South Manchester. Um, people in the surrounding area from Manchester have really banded together in a way that I think speaks volumes to the spirit of this community. I read a story about um, a group of people that were handing out snacks and beverages and refreshments to the first responders mm -hmm. on the scene. I know local hotels were taking in displaced children. Mm -hmm. Since this is obviously a concert with a lot of children and, and young teens and preteens at it. There was a lot of uh, intake being done at Holiday Inns and local hotels in the area, which is great. Yeah, and there has been a, a big social media push to make sure that anyone who has not yet be, been reunited with their kids, because it was absolute chaos when this went down, mm -hmm. um, that they are found and just trying to get to the bottom and make sure that everyone uh, is paired off with, you know, with their people, with their families, and that everyone is able to go home. Yeah, a lot of the fans. Uh, that were affected are are, are young. Um, they were leaving the arena. This was at the end of her set. This took place around at the ticket booth area, outside, um, and the the timing of it is absolutely horrifying and disgusting because it was obviously timed when people would be leaving the arena, uh, following the conclusion of the concert. Mm -hmm. um, it just it just sounds absolutely horrific. One mother said that she was surprised. Uh, she says, "quote." how we weren't crushed to death is a miracle because following the explosion, there was of course mass chaos um, and people going in all which way. I'm sure you guys have seen the video online. I have chosen not to show it here because I don't really think it adds anything to the discussion. It I just, agree, I'm It's glad just really it. scary um, and if you wanna find it, you can find it online. Yeah, if you wanna um, go watch it, go watch TV on Luke. Right, yeah, they're gonna be playing, playing all those videos all that day, I think are- every day. Yeah, um, Jay, uh, what, is, what is your response? What are some of your takeaways from this? Um, I think that the biggest takeaway away from this. Obviously, this is, a, this is a horrible tragedy and my condolences go out to the victims and the families and uh, the Manchester community. Um, mm -hmm. I think one of the things that really struck me on this, you know, you know, we're comics and we obviously have, in a situation like this, there is nothing that you can say that is anywhere close to a joke about the situation, mm -hmm. right? Comedy equals tragedy plus time, however, one thing that I did see yesterday that really bugged me about this was there was someone who was on Twitter who was calling themselves a, a freelance writer and someone who tweets funny things as a Twitch streamer. Uh, and he tweeted a joke, he tweeted a series of jokes. They were very not in good taste. They were um, almost immediately after the news broke and he rightfully got dragged on Twitter for it. And, and uh, you know he said he was a contributing writer for CBS, Access TV, uh, I think some other some other uh, publications, mm -hmm. and he's been disavowed by all of those publications. Uh, he's getting run through the the ringer on Twitter because the jokes were just they're not only were they incredibly poorly timed, but they were poor so in such poor taste because this is an incident as we just mentioned where there were children and and young people involved, mm -hmm. and there is simply no excuse to make public jokes about a situation like this. 
at this time? I think you know we we live in an age of social media where you feel so connected to people, uh, and that's a great way. That's something great about social media. So something that you see about this tragedy is you are seeing different people from different parts of Manchester being able to tweet out a photo. Hey, I have this person with me. If mm -hmm. you are their parent, their guardian, that is how social media in a tragedy like this is to be used. That his first instinct was to make a joke is really disheartening um, and not. It's it's not where we should be at. I want to draw attention to uh, there is. Uh, something going on where uh, they're raising money, and I think that that's more important. So there's a fundraising campaign at nearly 400,000 mm -hmm. pounds. A crowdfunding page keeps growing. I'm getting my information from the BBC right now. Another great use of social media is this yes. crowdfunding campaign. Yeah, has been raised to support the families of those killed and injured in the Manchester Arena attack after being organized by the Manchester Evening News. So if you are trying to go to social media, you want to reach out, you want to help. A joke right now is not. The thing to do, no. um, I would I would head over to that crowdfunding page, and we'll make sure we include the link in the description below. Um, it this is painful. This sucks. This concert is where you go to feel free. Uh, it's where you go to feel safe. Where you go to have a good time. Uh, this is absolutely awful news. Um, we just we want to make sure you guys stay updated and uh, you know just you know keep your hearts. Uh, and minds with the people in Manchester right now and with Ariana Grande fans and just in general, this sucks guys. So um, we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.